Okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to construct this kind of involute for a circle. I'm going to explain it using this example. The example one, the length of the string equals to the circumference of the circle. The string is unwound from the circle of 50 millimeter diameter. Draw the locus of the end point of the string for unwinding the string one turn. The string is kept tight during the unwound. Okay, this is the path when the string is unwinding. Okay, let's see how to construct this uh, involute. Before we are going to construct this involute, let's understand what is meant by the involute. Okay, first of all, uh, what is an involute? We can define in uh, two uh, ways. The involute is defined as the path of a point on a straight line, which is a roll without slip along the circumference of the cylinder. You can see the relevant diagram. If this uh, straight line rolls over the cylinder without slip, point on this uh, straight line follows the involute path. Okay. Another way we can define the involute, the involute of a circle is a curve traced by the end point of imaginary taut string unwinding itself from that stationary circle. You can see the diagram. When unwinding the taut string from the circle, its uh, point on the string follows the involute curve. Okay, uh, let's see uh, why this involute curve is important because of its application. In an involute gear, the profile of the teeth are involute of a circle. Most of the gear wheels are having the involute gear teeth. Here you can see, if you take a set a one gear teeth, its uh, profile shape is a involute because to transmit the power smoothly in between the gears, the profile should be involute. Okay, so then. then uh, then this is the uh, parametric equation of the involute curve. If you take a rectangular coordinate system like this, and uh, let's take uh, this uh, point as x comma y, x comma y. For this point, the coordinate we can write in this uh, parametric uh, way. The x coordinate is equal r cos t plus r t sin t. The t mean the angle the r mean the radius so y is equal r sin t minus r t cos t this is the parametric equation for the curve okay in this video we are mainly focusing how to construct this involute using the geometric constructions okay let's uh, move to this example the string unwound from the circle first of all i'm going to draw this uh, 50 millimeter diameter circle so then i'm going to divide this circle into uh, two segments for this uh, circumference length is equal uh, 5 into uh, 50 that is equal 157.07 so i am going to round it to a 157 this uh, circumference length of a 50 millimeter diameter circle is equal to 157 uh, millimeters okay let's see how to construct this involute Okay, take the compass and take the uh, 50 millimeter diameter that means two and a half uh, centimeter for the radius. Okay, this is the circle. Then I'm going to divide this circle into a 12 segments. Okay, let's draw the horizontal line. Okay, let's uh, divide this circle into a 12 segments. So I'm going to use the protector to divide this circle into a 12 segments. Thirty millimeter, so thirty degree. Okay. 
Yeah, mine will be good. Here I have divided this circle into two segments. So then draw the horizontal line from this point. Mark the 157 millimeter. Hundred fifty seven So then I'm going to divide this line into a, a twelve equal segments. So how to divide? You know how to divide the given line into a given segments. So first of all I'm going to draw this kind of a inclined uh, line with uh, twelve segments. Then this line I am going to divide into 12 So I am using the ruler or you can use the compass to divide the this line into a 12 uh, equal uh, to mark uh, 12 equal uh, segments Ok, uh, then uh, join these two points Okay, so then I am going to draw the parallel line to this uh, line passing through this uh, each and every point. So I am going to use the set cross for that one. Okay, uh, here we have divided this 157 millimeter line into 12 segments. Here you can see the points. Okay, let's uh, mark this point as uh, this point uh, initial point. Let's mark it as uh, zero. This point 1, a 2, a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, last one the 12. Okay, this length is equal 157 millimeters. Okay, okay, uh, next step uh, we want to draw the tangent at this uh, intersection point to the circle. Here I am going to use the protector to draw the uh, tangents. Okay, here we can take this uh, first tangent for the second tangent. I'm going to use the protector.
for third one Okay, okay. Uh, there's the initial point. Let's mark this point as the P12. Uh, okay, then uh, to mark the second point, take the length uh, from this point to 11.11. Uh, 11. Take this uh, length. So then take the center as this point and draw the arc. Then the intersection point, let's mark it as the P11, point 11. Then take, take the length up to point 10. So then take the center as this uh, tangent point and then draw the arc like this. Then let's take uh, this point as uh, P10. Uh, okay. Let's take the 9. Let's mark this point as P9. Point one. This is the point zero. Okay, then here we have marked all the points. So then we are going to join this point to obtain the inverted curve. Okay, let's join these uh, points. You can join the free hand. Okay, let's dark the curve. Okay, okay, this is how we have 
constructing this kind of involute for a given circle. I think you all got a clear idea how to construct this uh, involute. Okay, thank you. See you all next time.